I will now demonstrate how saved queries are created and used in a data synchronization task. Okay, so let me show you how saved queries are created and then used in a task. So I'm going to start by creating a new saved query and where I would do that is under configure saved queries and I'll just click new and name my query. And I need to select a database type, so I'm going to select SQL Server. And then you're going to enter your SQL query, so I'm just going to paste something in here. And so for the purposes of this demonstration, all I'm doing with a saved query is just aliasing two column names from my account table, just to show you how this works. So now I'm going to click Get Columns. And since I, since I specified that I was going to use a SQL Server database, now Informatica Cloud wants to know specifically which connection do you want to use this with? Because I have a couple of connections created. So I'll select one and click OK. And then uh, it actually brings back the columns returned by my SQL query. So that's all I have to do here. I'm just going to click OK and I'm going to use the saved query in a task. So I'm going to go over to my data synchronization tasks and I'll just open an existing task that is using SQL Server, my SQL Server connection. So I'm going to select for my source type, I'm going to change this to saved query. And then under source object, you'll get a list of any saved queries that you have in your org and then you can see the two columns returned by that query. So the rest of the task wizard functions just the same as any other data synchronization task. So that is all you need to do with saved query.